going on there, guys? We're back with another one. And we got to talk about Nick Young and his take on Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma being on the Washington Wizards. And he talks about, you know, he believes that Jordan Poole is the lead guy, whereas Kuzma's the number two. And he thinks that could be an issue uh, once the season starts. And he also spoke about the time you know, that Jordan Poole spent in Golden State said they didn't appreciate him. Um, we saw what happened there between Jordan Poole and, you know, some of his teammates during the Sacramento series. We saw some of the things Steve Kerr said, and it seemed like, you know, everybody predicted at the beginning of the season that that punch and the way that it leaked out to the public was unfixable, and it turned out to be that way. You know, there is no going back from that, especially – you know, this man has to live with this in public forever. So, he's it's a good fresh start for him if he takes advantage of it in Washington. And we're going to check out what Nick Young had to say. If you say, like, Bradley Bill, star, right? He was a corner nigga, he's a star now. He's a star because he got traded to a superstar team. And he's still a star there. He's a third star. You know? They label him the third star. If you... If he would have got traded to a team and the role changed, he'll be coming off the bench or they use him for, you know, like... To sit in the corner. If you got the ball all the time, if it's your team and you get traded and your role change until you off the ball and the star got to give you the ball, you're a corner nigga. So, Pooh, this is your chance, man. They're giving you your team, Pooh. You free will here. They, they didn't appreciate you. They didn't appreciate you in Golden State. Just, you, that's why they gave you money and got on because, you know... You should have just sued that. I, I would have got every damn thing. Hey, that, that, knock me the fuck out. They didn't train me. Yeah, it's over, man. But look, it's a fresh start. You're in Chocolate City. You with Kuzma. They just paid Kuzma a, 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 a member of the Corner Association. Uh, so, yeah, man, no fighting over the ball, man. Kuzma, this, I know you feel like this your team, but not, nah, I think Poole got a, he got a little bit more over you. Poole got a little bit more over you, Kuzma. So, you, you second. It's Poole, then Kuz. It's Poole, then Kuz, all right? Not Kuz, then Poole's. It's Poole, then Kuz. I know you're going to be feeling good. You just got your money, but you're second, Kuz, all right? And it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, Kuz. Don't come at me. Nigga, we in this together. You a corner nigga, I'm a corner nigga. We, I'm just uh, I'm on a board. I'm on a board to let you know what to do to keep you in on, afloat, you know? I'm on a board. I'm a board member of the Corner Nigga Association. So I think that's interesting what he says. You know, he said he would have sued the Warriors. I don't know exactly how that tape got out. I don't know um, or or who it who it got out from. We know how it got out. Somebody obviously was in the gym that had access to it and leaked it. But um, the fact that that got out there, you wonder was there like an internal job to move some of the salaries around? I mean, they did right by Jordan Poole and they paid him. And then they dumped that off the very next year to make room for Draymond. Were they trying to let, you know, the season play out and see who they really want to choose but pay uh, Poole just in case he exploded as a player and let Draymond walk? I think they probably were essentially playing to see who they were going to keep. And they knew how they were going to finesse uh, the roster around, you know, just to be able to to uh, pay Draymond if they had to. And that, that's what they did. You know, um, Wiggins was out, and they can still say that Poole was very instrumental in them winning the championship the year before, so he still had his trade value. Um, but he also said, you know, 
that Kuz and Poole shouldn't be fighting over the ball. You have some young players that love to score the basketball. Now, Kuzma's a good rebounder. He impacts the game in that way. But we know Jordan Poole likes to isolate with the ball, dribble, and all that. But I think the way he needs to score now, he needs to do it a little with a little bit less dribbles. And I'll explain why. Um, they have Tyus Jones at the point guard spot. And Tyus is the leader in assist to turnover ratio in the NBA and now he finally has his team that he can run he can command and I think he can get Kuzma some great shots he's perfect for the Kuzma style of play I think there will be an adjustment to Jordan Poole because Golden State um, is about being in condition and taking and making some tough shots specifically from the perimeter but it's a lot of movement away from the ball and so you're able to live with some of the mistakes. Now, we saw teams that were bigger inside punish them, and that was their downfall at the, end of the, at the end of the year. You know, the Lakers just punished them inside, and that's it, it didn't matter. And, you know, those, those, tough, those deep, tough shots become more difficult to make when they're pressured shots, and the other team is controlling the game, and they're getting a good possession every time down. But I say all that to say, you know, he – he can play more traditional basketball now and be more of a traditional style two guard and it don't require all that dribbling and creating and risk taking that he was doing with the Golden State Warriors. I think Tyus Jones is a fine point guard and they need to allow him to play his position because I think Tyus Jones can get more guys involved and more guys in the right spots and you know, he can play off of these guys when they do go isolation because he don't, he don't have to do a lot to score. Like, he knocks down open threes. He has a masterful floater in the paint, and, and that's what he's going to do really offensively. But as far as setting the table, you know, there's not too many, if any, better than him at doing that. <laughs> so I think he's going to thrive. I think Jordan Poole and Kuzma is going to – they're going to have to embrace other things with the game as far as defense and, you know, having an identity as a player more than just scoring a basketball, in my opinion. So I think Nick Young's take is valid what he's trying to say, you know, because these guys are going, they're expected to carry the offensive load for the team and be that guy now. And are they going to be vying for that spot to the point where it's internal competition or they're going to, assimilate and work with each other and you know just let the game come to them let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time peace